Okay. Uh, hello, everyone, and uh, this is a tutorial. Well, it's a quick hint on using Blender 2.5. Uh, I'm going to show you how to overcome kind of a, an annoying problem that ha happens sometimes in Blender. So this is a uh, map of a college campus that I'm building here. And I've modeled different buildings. So if we go to the top view, hit 7 to go to the top view. Okay, uh, you can see that we have this kind of residence hall area and these buildings here. They all look alike, so um, there's no need to model all of them from scratch. You'd probably just want to model one and then uh, go ahead and just duplicate it but uh, you'll see if I take one of these residence halls and I okay let me delete this one I'll take this one alright and I uh, duplicate this I'll hit shift D to duplicate it okay now um, you would think that everything would be normal here but when I move the time slider you'll see that one of the objects seems to disappear in fact um, these two objects share the same animation data. As you can see, uh, I was able to just move it around and you can see that both the objects are there. But uh, if you were to go into the... Um, actually, you can see for these two different uh, objects, you can see here that the um, they share the same animation uh, data. Okay, so if I select one, if I select the uh, animation data for one, the animation data for the other one gets selected as well. Okay, so um, that's a problem. So what you have to do is, if you have duplicated them in this way, and you find yourself, you find the uh, an object that's been duplicated behaving strangely, if it starts um, jumping to another object, or if it's sharing the same materials as another object and you can't update the materials or the textures or something, then um, go here in your 3D view, go to the object menu, and go to make single user. All right, and you have several options here: object and uh, object, object and data. Uh, I'm going to say object animation. I'm going to say make single user all. Let me do the same thing for this one. All right, so now when we move the time slider, oops. Let's go to object and data. Okay. Okay. So now they in fact you can see here that uh, they've been given different action names as well so that's how you will know that uh, well you'll know for one thing when you move the time slider so um, basically these little guys here have are now independent objects from each other whereas before they were kind of linked together in that way so um, there may be times when you would want them to share the same animation data and obviously in this case we would not want that. So uh, that's just a little quick hint on how to do that, and um, hopefully it will help you out because uh, the forms, there was no information on this. So.